Hey guys. So today, um, one of my favorite units I like to do in the spring is teaching you guys how to make some homemade instruments. So today we are going to make something that we can find almost anywhere right now, an egg shaker using just plastic eggs. And we'll take it a step further and you can make a maraca using two spoons and plastic eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt the camera down just a little bit so you can see a little more of my workspace. Um, just wanted to say hi, I miss you guys. And um, so let me tell you what supplies you need. And then while I fix the camera, you can go around and get your supplies or tune back in once you have your supplies. So you will need some plastic Easter eggs, any size, I found these cute little baby ones at the store. Um, you could get big giant ones. You could even use a like an empty pill bottle if your parents have an old bottle that's left over that you're getting ready to throw away of like Tylenol or something. You can use one of those too if you don't have an Easter egg. So I don't have anything in this one yet. Um, you need, if you're going to make the maraca, you're going to need two plastic spoons. Um, you will need some tape. You can use different kinds of tape. I've got masking tape here. We've got duct tape, I've got electrical tape, I even just have scotch tape. So whichever kind of tape you can find. Now, what you wanna fill it with, we could fill it with many different options, but you want either dry rice, you could also use elbow macaroni, gives you a nice loud sound, as opposed to a softer sound. And you can use beans, you have small beans, medium beans. You can also use dried popcorn if you have it like in a bag. Popcorn's great. I don't have any popcorn here at my house, so no popcorn for me. But so gather up your supplies and then start back in and join in the video and we're gonna make our egg shakers and maracas. Okay, so I have gotten, I've tilted the camera down a little bit so you can see a little bit more of my workspace. So you need to look at your egg before we do anything with it, with rice or putting anything in it. Look at your egg. If your egg has holes in it, like this egg right here has two holes in the top and two pretty big holes in the bottom, you're going to need to take tape to cover those holes up. Because if you don't, when you put the rice in, they will the rice will fall out. So I'm just gonna use basic scotch tape. You could use, like I said, whatever tape you have. Go ahead and just cover up those two little holes right there. And there we go. All right, so once those are covered, you can choose what you're gonna fill it with. Now, I'm gonna do a couple of them so that we can hear what the different things sound like. Because when we do them in my classroom, I like to let students choose. I like to let you, the students, choose what you fill your egg with. Usually we have a bunch of different little things. If you don't have rice or anything around the house, your parents don't wanna spare it, if you have some like little pebbles, little rocks, that works. If you have a fish tank, you can use fish tank rocks. I wouldn't take them out of the fish tank because then they'll be wet and that's kind of gross. Um, you could think of anything around your house. Uh, maybe you have some beads. Maybe you have some um, beads for girls might have some beads for making jewelry or for their hair. You could take some beads and you can fill in. You can fill the egg with those too. All right, so let's listen to the three different sounds. So I'm gonna open up rice first. So um, I'm gonna actually use our spoon since we haven't made our maraca yet. And I'm just gonna put some rice inside my egg. There we go. And I'm gonna close it. So that's the sound of our rice. Okay, this is the yellow one. I'm gonna put some elbow macaroni in. So let's see. Well, that sounds. You might not want as much macaroni because it's kind of big. We'll see. You can also judge how much you need by how it sounds. Ooh. It has a louder sound. All right, let's try the beans now. Okay. Let's see what our beans sound like. What kind of medium sized beans? We'll see. So 
we could also talk about timber of these. You could also play a game. You could fill two eggs with each one of these things and have a, by listening, try to figure out which ones are filled with beans. That's a fun game too. I've played in my classroom. So let's see. It's macaroni. Hmm. Sound, this is a bright but loud. Sort of a muted, loud, harsh sound. And just our regular old plain rice. So I'm going to stick with the rice for right now. And I also put some rice in my little baby one too. Now, something you want to do, because we all know that plastic eggs like to come apart, is parents, especially if you're there, throw a piece of tape on either side of where the egg goes together. That way, while we're taping, putting our decorative taper things on it, the um, egg doesn't fall apart. Cleaning up rice around is no fun, because it's tiny and gets in all the little nooks and crannies. Trust me, we've done that in my classroom. That is not fun to pick up. Okay, so there we go. All right, there's my rice one. Now, you have your egg shaker. He just looks pretty much like a plastic egg. So this is where you can take your tape and cover the entire egg with it. Parents, you might need tape. I mean, you might need some scissors. Maybe parents, you could get your parents or an older sibling to help you tear some of the tape, especially if it's duct tape. Duct tape is kind of hard to tear. Um, or cut. Um, you can also put a couple pieces of duct tape for decoration. I like to use, you can use your table or you can use something to set it on. Or you can just take little squares of it and stick it kind of over the crack, over where we put the two eggs together, the two pieces together, help again to reinforce so that nothing comes apart. You can use stickers to decorate your egg with. Um, if you put like three good pieces of duct tape. If you're using duct tape, put three good pieces. We've already covered our ends with something else. Now you can just put some stickers on it and you've got an egg shaker. If you'll keep continue looking in the next few in the same thing, I'm going to have a book called Chicks and Salsa I'm going to read and you will be able to use your egg shaker in our Chicks and Salsa book. I also will have a shaky egg song added to our playlist that you can shake your egg along with and dance along with. It's one we do in the classroom. Um, some of you that have had me since pre-K or earlier in the year pre-K, you'll remember the song. Um, it's called, I Know a Chicken and She Lays a Shaky Egg. Okay, I'm gonna lift the camera just a little bit more. Okay, I can squish down so I can see you. <laughs> I miss you. Um, all right, so now how do we make the maraca? Good question. So you're going to take your egg. Let's see, I'll take this one that I just made because I didn't put that much tape on it. You're going to take your egg. You're going to make the egg shaker just like we did, except you may not want to put the dark tape around, the duct tape around yet. You're going to take these. This is where you're going to need another person probably to help you. This is kind of hard to do if you don't use another person. So you're going to take your egg. You're going to put the spoons around it like this. See how they are right there? In my classroom, we usually use masking tape for this part to get the egg put together. So um, you could pull a couple strips. You could have a parent or somebody help you. They can hold the spoons around your egg for you. Get the egg in there. I like to pull them up just a little bit. Make sure your sticks or your spoons are coming down together and you hold them and wrap carefully. Wrap carefully around. Okay, so once you have the tape around your spoons, you can hold on to it easier and you can get some more tape and begin taping your two spoons together. So just go around and around and just keep going around until you have 
all your handles of your spoons taped together. And you can, once you've got that pretty much, if you wanna use a decorative tape, if you have washi tape or if you have some duct tape or some colored electrical tape, you can then start decorating it and cover it a little bit better. And I used two kinds of tape here. I just did kind of, kind of a stripey thing. But you can get your parents to help you. Electrical tape is a little harder because you got to pull it and stretch it a little bit while you're wrapping it. But um, duct tape works too. Again, you can add some stickers after you've got all your stuff on. And now you have your maraca and your egg shaker. And you can have a good time playing along. Uh, if you use a little bottle or a little canister, you can also use a soda bottle. Just dry it out real good. Um, empty it, wash it out, dry it out real good. You can add some rice inside a soda bottle. You can do a bottle shaker. So I'm going to lift this up so I can see you guys. So it has been fun. Stay tuned for chicks and salsa, as well as I'm going to add some songs in a playlist that you can play your maracas and your egg shakers along with. So I miss you guys, and maybe we'll get to see you again soon. Stay safe.